Hello, um, just making a quick uh, another video, another material tips video. Someone was asking about this hair shader. Um, I made the streaky, spiky, um, stylized highlight on this. Um, so I just want to go over and show how I did this. Um, so here's my little sample area of a bunch of different hairs and I was just kind of testing to make sure that the highlight looked good on dark colors and also lighter colors. Um, but yeah, I think it looks it looks really cool. It reacts to the light all nice and properly. Um, and it's very straightforward actually. There's no normal map or anything going on here. Um, we're using substrate in this example, so we just uh, throw in a color. Um, for our specular color, we just kind of tint um, white by the, the hair color a little bit. Set our roughness, um, and we set our anisotropic uh, value just to stretch out that highlight. It's kind of stretching it horizontally. Um, so you get like these different looks there. Um, but the real fun stuff is um, this bit. And um, what we're doing is we're using the tangent input on the material, and we're going to kind of offset the tangents up and down on this mesh based on this noise texture. So if we just um, visualize this, and let's uh, unplug everything else actually, and let's just throw this in emission for a second. Make sure this stays black. Um, you can see that we have this, so we're taking this uh, just blobby noise, really soft noise texture, um, and we're uh, mapping it to the material, and we're just kind of uh, Kind of squishing it on the x-axis to get these these uh, black and white lines, and so anywhere where there's black is going to shift the tangent down. Anywhere there, where there's white is going to shift the tangent up, and it's going to leave us with that streaky look. So um, we have this mask, and then we remap it from since the R channel is just going to be in a range of zero to one. We multiply by two, subtract by one to get it into the minus one one range. Um, that way we can push both up and down. If it was just in the zero to one range, it would only push up. We want to go in both directions, right? And then we uh, multiply it by some scale, and then we just add it to this 1, 0, 0 vector to offset the uh, tangent. So if we uh, hook this all back up and we recompile, and we plug the color back into the color, um, yeah, that's all, all there is to it. So if we uh, change the stretching on this, right, we can we can make it wider, or we can make it really compact and have really tight, spiky little bits. Um, I think a value of 30 looks good. And then for this multiplier, just kind of um, determines like the distortion amount, right? So we can have just a tiny little bit of distortion, or we can have a ton. Um, yeah, we just kind of find a value that looks nice there. And yeah, no normal maps. It uh, responds to lighting really nicely, and yeah. Looks pretty dang cool. Okay, thanks. Bye.